my family was going, we were going to doctor, you know, doctor after doctor, trying to figure out what was going on, but it was a very bizarre story to tell because I'd fallen and hurt my wrist. Um, and we didn't find out until much later that the Lyme had been brewing under the surface and had been, you know, giving me knee pain for a while, but just was waiting to take over until I had like an injury and it just kind of, you know, took that opportunity to jump on it. That knee stuff is no joke. I was a basketball player when I, when I was that age as well and got Lyme and my knee pain, my right knee would just swell to like two or three times its size for just wow. no reason. It was just so crazy, but it sounds yeah. like you had more physical stuff. I had a lot more cognitive stuff. I ended up in the psych ward for suicide attempts. And so, so it did really I. Affected. Okay. So yeah, yeah, it really affected my brain and my gut a lot, not as yeah. much as my joints, but you brought up one great big point about the knee going to the to the ankle to the wrist you know how uh migrating pain is one out of six diseases that is a side effect of Lyme disease and so that's that's a really great indication folks that if you hear of somebody saying they've got migrating pain going on you really should be thinking of Lyme disease not hypochondriac 